Hey everyone, my name is Civic Extraordinaire, and today I wanted to talk about the new PDXCon 2021 New Mix, which is coming up tomorrow. It's going to be a three-day event going from here, May 21st to May 23rd, and of course it is in the year of our uh, savior, 2021. Anyhow, um, I think this is going to be a completely transparent 72-hour event, so it's going to be going on from Friday to Saturday to Sunday, and this is going to be pretty big because I think this is the longest PDXCon we've had. Uh, they've completely rebranded it, obviously, PDXCon Remixed. And I wanted to get to the uh, topic of today's video, which is just speculating and talking about some of the events. And, of course, they're going to be um, doing this in, I think, Swedish time, though they say this is broadcasting from Indianapolis. So I'm not too sure why they're doing Indianapolis. I thought it'd be based on Swedish time, actually. I'm going to have to contradict myself, but it looks like it's from Indianapolis. I don't even know if they have studios in Indianapolis, but I think they do have an American headquarters, so that's actually right near where I live, so that's kind of funny. Um, but anyhow, it's going to be really interesting to see just how they uh, go about this, and I wanted to talk about some just brief speculation as we dive into this, because I believe there's a new uh, grand strategy game that's kind of been speculated about what Wiz is working on. I don't have the details for it, but I heard there was a trademark um, for the specific strategy game called Blood Eagle. I don't know if it's going to be called Blood Eagle, but I'm pretty sure that's what Wiz, the former director of Stellaris, went to go on about and work on. Uh, but we do know for sure that there's going to be things uh, that fans can participate in, like a huge Stellaris land party. Um, they're doing some Survivor, uh, like the Surviving Mars games or Surviving the Aftermath. Uh, interviews and stuff like that. So it's great to see they're interviewing a lot of the individual uh, studios. But what you can really expect is there's going to be a lot of community uh, contact and interaction. That's really what they're trying to pride themselves on. Uh, you're going to see a bunch of games like City Lights. Um, yeah, they're talking cities. I don't know what other game would be um, centered around cities specifically. But yeah, they have um, different things like uh, content creators, um, like Palpatine 001. And I think these are just a bunch of uh, famous YouTubers here. So I'm really loving the UI design too. Clearly they've spent a lot of uh, time baking this. I think the last PDX con only went on for two days, um, though I think it also went over the weekend and they hosted that one in somewhere near Berlin, uh, some kind of like factory or something they rented out. It was kind of weird, but that was when they announced Imperato Rome, I think, and they also announced a few DLCs. I think that was the last DLC they announced for CK2, but you can correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, but man, it just really kind of highlights how long it's been just between uh, 2020 and 2021. So much stuff has just happened since then. And it's just, I think that was right before the outbreak of the coronavirus. But man, so much has just happened since then. And to our channel, I don't think we had our channel even uh, back then in 2020. So it's going to be interesting to cover this as it's going on. You guys can always check it out then. But yeah, we have basically uh, surviving uh, the aftermath. We're seeing some DLC. We're going to see a CK3 DLC announcement. I'm almost certain I'm pretty sure the devs tease that. We also have uh, an interview with the Kaiserreich mod. You can also just find this in the description. I'll link it. And then there's going to be a huge, uh, basically, a two-hour straight announcement. So, yeah, there's going to be a two-hour straight, uh, maybe even more than two hours, but an announcement show. And this is going to be announcing various DLC. It's going to probably be announcing their new... Uh, grand strategy game. I think they're going to do something fantasy related like Blood Eagle. Now, I'm not even sure that this was, that's the specific name, but Wiz has been working on something for like two years. So we're just going to have to see how far that goes. And we're also probably going to get some DLC for City Lights. That's just my speculation. I could be wrong, um, but I'm definitely expecting a new grand strategy game. Uh, they're also doing some very interesting things with um, jobs fairs. I think they're going to be highlighting some of the opportunities at their studios. Uh, which is going to be interesting because unemployment in the U.S. has just been absolutely insane. I just got my check uh, in the mail, which is kind of funny. But um, looks like the last day is kind of going to be toned down. Uh, they'll probably do an announcement right at the end of the last day. Okay, no, they're not. So it's really just going to be two jam-packed days. And then the last day, which is Sunday, is just going to be um, talking about job opportunities. So the f first and foremost two main days are just going to be covered with DLC and everything. So I'm expecting... Uh, the name of the Hearts of Iron 4 DLC. I think it's Barbarossa. We'll get into more details about that. I'm expecting Blood Eagle, uh, news on the Grand Strategy game, whatever it's called. And I'm expecting uh, some news possibly following up on Stellaris uh, in the post-patch process after Nemesis. And maybe we'll hear about the end of EU4 because I definitely think it's going to be toned down, uh, especially with how much of a shit show Nemesis was. And then possibly we're going to get some news... Um, 
regarding Hearts of Iron 4, Barbarossa, and a release date if they haven't done that already. Um, but aside from that, maybe we see some City Skylines content too. And I don't really expect to see too many things like CK3 DLC, uh, their first expansion. But aside from that, I think a lot of the studios are just getting it together after they've released their respective uh, DLCs like uh, CK3 with Northern Lords, Stellaris with Nemesis, and EU4 with Leviathan. So it's kind of an interesting time to host PDXCon, uh, all said, especially since there's no huge DLCs, I don't think, aside from HO, uh, Hearts of Iron 4 and Barbarossa. So I think the grand strategy game and possibly Victoria 3, uh, I didn't even, I forgot to mention that Victoria 3 could be a huge, uh, huge announcement. I think they're definitely going to do Victoria 3, but uh, we're just going to have to see where they go with that. I can see um, right here, there's definitely enough time to talk about that. And uh, I just guess we'll stay tuned. So if you guys like the video, if you like my commentary stuff, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And uh, this is just been some loose speculation. Uh, I'm pretty sure there's probably some more intense leaks, but I don't want to speculate based off of that. Just my prior experience with PDX games, uh, which I have a, quite a bit of experience with them uh, in the release schedule. So I'll have to see uh, just how far it goes. Of course, I'm not an expert, but um, I'll just, we'll just have to see uh, when it releases. So uh, thank you guys so, so much for watching, and uh, stay tuned for more PDXCon content from Civic Extraordinaire. All right, love you guys. Have a great rest of your week. See ya.